Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and before you automatically dislike this video, do not worry, PUBG mobile content is not going anywhere on this channel. I just want to bring you this news because I think it's that important and because everybody else is going to be covering it too. So earlier today we talked about PUBG Mobile Lite. I know that some of you are going to play it, some of you aren't. And this is another game that some people are going to play, some people aren't going to play, and that is Fortnite. So obviously Fortnite, huge battle royale game right now. It has been out on iOS, controls have been kind of clunky for a while, and Android way more popular. So for a good time now, people have been speculating about Android, Fortnite, and uh, when that matchup or pairing would finally occur. And uh, initially, the rumors were that it would only be available at launch for the Galaxy Note 9, the new Note 9, as well as the Tab S4, I think it was called. Well, now it's actually available for more Samsung devices than we thought. So what I'm doing right here is I'm showing you how to install it. I'll leave a link in the video description to the site I visited. Um, and then what you do is you actually download the Fortnite installer and then you give it access to uh, your file systems on your device. That way it can actually start downloading the game. So the installer itself, it's available only for Samsung devices now, at least for the next like week or so. And then it will be available for everybody, uh, Fortnite, Android, Beta. So the Note 9, the Tab S4, which are the new ones, and then also the S9, S9 Plus, Note 8, Galaxy uh, S8, S8 Plus, Galaxy S7, Get Galaxy S7 Edge, and Tab S3. So those are all the devices that are currently available. And uh, yeah, if you have one of those devices, you can actually download Fortnite Mobile Beta right now and uh, play it. So you can see on mobile, it's the same 100-player uh, PvP game. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with Fortnite. I'd imagine that although there is a certain amount of hatred between PUBG Mobile and Fortnite players, I'd imagine a good number of you actually have played it before just because it's super popular. And like you could pretty much go up to anybody and say, have you heard of Fortnite? And they'll be like, oh yeah, that's the game that I play or my son plays or my, you know, I don't know, friend plays or whatever. So... You can see here that uh, we were just taking a look at the specs there and what we're going to do now is actually click on launch. So this was just the installer and like I said you can either download it from the uh, Galaxy App Store which is what I did or you can download it directly from Epic Games. So what's really interesting is that Epic Games isn't going to be distributing Fortnite through the Google Play Store. They actually think they're big enough to download it direct to customers themselves. So that's definitely breaking with tradition and we'll have to see how that works. So now what we're going to do is just take a look at that um, as it's downloading. It's a huge download, uh, almost two gigabytes, you can see. You can see uh, it's telling you a little bit about the game, you know, survive the longest, earn your victory. And I'm very curious how building is implemented. So you can see drag to move very much like PUBG Mobile. Both are built with the Unreal 4 engine, so they're going to look similar. Uh, double tap to auto run. I hope PUBG actually implements that. I think that that's a good change. That would be pretty neat. Tap on that virtual joystick. Just do a quick double tap and you start running instead of having to drag it up and then uh, having to deal with that working, not working. So equip weapons looks like it's going to be automatic pickup and then you just tap on the screen. Tap anywhere to fire. So that's a little different. That's like control scheme two for PUBG Mobile. Tap to reload uh, looks very similar. Hopefully you can move that button though. That's going to be tough to push where it is. Tap to build. That is new. Obviously PUBG Mobile does not have building and many people prefer that and uh, express yourself with emotes this is where I personally am not the biggest fan I know some people have a lot of fun with these things I prefer more realism which is why I like PUBG mobile better but otherwise you know jump off the battle bus uh, build to defend yourselves there are team battles 50 v 50 uh, solo duo squads some other cool battle modes so you know we'll be taking a look at it but like I said do not worry this focus of this channel will definitely remain PUBG mobile moving forward unless uh, you guys really want to see more of this. So you can revive your teammates, stay out of the storm. They call it the storm instead of the blue circle or the blue zone. Uh, same deal, you know, pushes people together, forces you into combat. And uh, there was a lawsuit by PUBG Mobile. It has been dropped against Fortnite. So I think they got they just settled as like a stalemate. Um, both games are honestly unique enough. We're just going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this download just because it is pretty long and uh, going to move forward, just showing you the entire process. That way, if you are downloading Fortnite Mobile on your Samsung Android device right now, there's also an APK. I don't know if it'll work on non-Samsung devices, but uh, just know that for the next week or so, it looks to be Samsung exclusive, although that will change pretty quickly because, well, they want to make money, and making money means that you need 
every uh, device you know possible to uh, run the the game, <laughs> you know more V bucks or whatever their virtual currency is. So optimizing content again, I'm speeding this up ten times because this actually takes like five to ten minutes. So don't want you guys to get bo too bored, uh, you know, watching it. So. I figured we'll just skip past that and then I'll show you in real time how long it takes to start Fortnite. So this is again in real time now. That way you get a sense of how the game loads. And no sound just because we're using a AZ recorder, can't record internal game audio, but we're gonna switch over to that as soon as we jump into the actual game. So I'm a little scattered brain in what I'm trying to say right now, but hopefully I'm getting all the information across and uh, again, making that point clear that this is not going to be the focus of the channel. It's a PUBG mobile gaming channel. That's why you guys all subscribed. And uh, if there is interest, I might throw a couple Fortnite videos in there just because it's a very popular game, way more popular than PUBG even. And um, I'm sure a good number of you play it too. So now what you wanna do is you actually wanna click on create an account. So you can see here that we're gonna have to mute this just so uh, you don't get it picked up on the mic double time. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and accept that agreement. I created an account and because I'm on a Samsung device, I don't actually have to join a wait list. I can just log in. So that is the advantage, of course, of having a Samsung device. You can see, how do you wanna fire a weapon? So this is uh, similar to PUBG Mobile where you have different control schemes. Uh, we'll take a look at those. So first one is automatic fire, which is recommended for beginners. Weapon fires automatically when you aim at an enemy. Uh, many of you guys are probably not going to like that, but hey, that is an option in Fortnite. So you can also tap anywhere, very similar to the floating fire button of Control Scheme 2. And then you have the dedicated button, which is like Control Scheme 1 or 3 of PUBG Mobile. You can also configure any or all, so you could have uh, auto fire as well as a dedicated button. That way, if you uh, think you see somebody and it starts automatically shooting, then you can have a little more control. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that on auto fire just because I want to show you what this game is is about and i just want to show you that uh, hey you can change your mind later use the uh, change fire mode from the hud layout tool i want to show you just what this game um, looks like on the phone and uh, do things like that so you can see new update welcome to fortnite on android's first deal because it was our first uh, news event because it was just introduced officially today like i said i know that apk leaked about 24 hours ago and some people have been playing it since then but for the majority of us with samsung devices uh, downloading it right now this is the first day it is available so the battle pass very very similar to the royal pass one of the few things that uh, pubg mobile definitely drew inspiration from from fortnite if you want to call it that uh, basically, when you join or when you buy the Battle Pass, so you have a free Battle Pass that gives you rewards as you level up, and then you also have the Premium Battle Pass, which is similar to the Elite Royal Pass versus the Standard Royal Pass. So, you know, very, very, very similar. Uh, toys give you new ways to have fun on the island. I'd rather just play the game. But uh, they're out there, so... How does it work? Basically, you play to level up your battle pass, and as you level it up, you get more rewards. The elite battle pass, or whatever they call it here, premium one, is uh, more rewards. You get a reward every level. What's actually really cool, though, and I hope that they do this for PUBG Mobile, is that you actually earn V-Bucks. So V-Bucks are the virtual currency of Fortnite Mobile, and or Fortnite, and basically you earn them as you level up. Now, PUBG Mobile, if you buy the Elite Royal Pass, you get 30 UC every few like levels, but it's nowhere near enough to actually be able to buy another pass from it. Fortnite is different because you can actually play enough to earn enough free V-Bucks that you don't have to buy the next uh, pass the next season. So like I was saying in previous videos on PUBG Mobile, the Elite Royal Pass, if you buy it, it only lasts until the end of the season, which is August 18th for the current season. And after that, you have to buy it again. And you never earn enough UC to be able to buy it for free. So you have to spend more money every season if you want to keep upgrading your pass. This is different because if you play enough, you can actually get to the point where you get a free pass, a free battle pass, because uh, you've earned enough V-Bucks through playing the game and leveling up your current battle pass in the current season. So something that I would like to see move to PUBG Mobile because it's annoying that you have to constantly spend money every season if you want the uh, Royal Pass. Then you see Solo, Duo, Squads, Playground, which is just a, a sandbox, uh, Steady Storm, which uh, is a, a limited time as well as a 50v50 squads, which is a fun, less intense version of the game. So I'll be doing some gameplay on the Galaxy S9 Plus, see how 
well it runs, how smoothly it runs. But right now, in this video, we're just gonna be taking a look at the settings and the error boring stuff, get that out of the way, see what sorts of options there are. Quality is everything from low to epic. I'm gonna leave that on auto. And mobile frame rate of 20 or 30 FPS. Unfortunately, it looks like no option for 60 FPS, which would be very nice. But we'll leave it at 30, it's better than nothing. And you've got your touch sensitivity, so similar to your sensitivity settings. It doesn't look like there are as many because you don't have like scope sensitivity and uh, free look versus first person versus third person. So it looks a little more simplistic there. You've got some other options here for uh, aim assist. I'm uh, gonna leave that on turbo building. I guess you uh, build faster. I don't know what all these are, so you guys can let me know. But that those are your options on Fortnite mobile beta for Android. And then you have your sound options look very similar your account info, and you've got some unintentional purchases. So if you accidentally buy V-Bucks or somebody buys them on your phone to troll you, you can actually get a refund, which is nice. So you can see that this is the main menu screen. We are level one, Derek G underscore YouTube, or uh, it's a, I was gonna do Derek G, but that was taken. So I did Derek G underscore YT, capital YT. So if you wanna add me as a friend in the game, uh, definitely feel free to do that. I'm not sure how much, like I said, how much I'm going to be playing it, but you know, we'll see if there's demand out there. If you get, you guys want to watch it, then uh, I'll produce the content. So I've got season five right now. Uh, Fortnite came out just about a year ago or so. I think it was a year ago in September it'll be. So they're already on season five. Looks like the seasons last about, mm, I don't know, maybe 90 days, three months, two and a half months, somewhere around there. Similar to, again, PUBG Mobile. So there you have it. That's how you install Fortnite Mobile Beta on a Samsung device. Get started to play right now if you want it. Otherwise, you'll have to join the Android waitlist. Uh, they will open it up, though, like I said, in a week or two. I'd imagine that they will do it sooner rather than later, as soon as they uh, can like guarantee compatibility and stuff, because the sooner they open it up to more people, the more V-Bucks they can earn, uh, real money they can earn. So there you go. My name's Derek G. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the battleground soon.